How's it guys and welcome back to Project Drive It's there. I thought I'd start today's video with my uh, friend's 2014 uh, Sandero base spec uh, by just doing a little quick walk around showing you the outside of the car maybe mentioning the features of the car, a few key features that uh, are not found on uh, other cars in this class and uh, yeah, it should be a quick one so let's just get started. Okay, moving to the front here, we can see that we've got a standard, um, standard setup of lights. So we've got the high beams and the uh, and the running lights integrated into uh, one one frame. This does not come with the spotlights, as I said, it is the base spec, so it's something very similar to a Polo Vivo or Ford Figo and the Entel like my own. Uh, obviously, it's competing in the same price brackets or even lower. As I will mention later, it's a very high value prospect and I'll let you know why. Obviously, we can see this one is colored in black and it comes on the steel wheels, as I mentioned. It's running on the same size tire. Yes, 185 uh, all round. Uh, these have been really well worn in, as you can see. However, that's to be expected. You know, we are all students after all, and I'm borrowing this from my friend. Now coming to the back, we can see no LEDs to be found as this is a 2014. I think they only integrated LEDs uh, into the facelift model of this generation. Okay, so moving on to the boot area, I will list the boot space later on in the spec review. But as you can see, standard uh, arrangement here, dust covers and all the rest of the paraphernalia. This does have a 60-40 split. So if you do choose to fold the seats down, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a potential through loading area if you were going to uh, put anything long. Maybe you like to longboard, put your longboard straight through there. Uh, one thing to mention, like the Polo Vivo and uh, equivalent Figo of the of the same class, is you do get a full size spare, which is not something you can say for even modern hatchbacks occasionally. I know a lot of them put in space savers, and yeah, that's something you're definitely going to benefit from from uh, from older car. Uh, in terms of older car benefits where instead of just including puncture kits and stuff like that you'll actually get a full size spare which is obviously really nice to have. Moving on to a quick overview of the uh, rear uh, the rear seats. Um, as I said they fold uh, 60 40 um, so that's obviously the, how you would fold them is there is a button release here and on the other side uh, just uh, mentioning something about this car in particular, not entirely sure whether this is across the spec range, I haven't been able to see, but there are no rear speakers, although there are rear speaker grills, they do not operate, so that might be some uh, cost uh, cutting measure as well as the window winders at the back here, uh, but coming to the front I'll show you obviously where the money's been spent, but as you can see our rear passengers really aren't getting too much in the way of comfort, but the seats are comfortable enough, you've got enough leg room I would say, there's obviously a little indents here for uh, extra leg room and uh, otherwise it's pretty bare back here but okay so moving on to the front now we can see that um, it's very uh, very basic in here but uh, also some really nice cool uh, digital quirks like such as the digital screen over there which shows you uh, information like your fuel the time of day and I think there are some warning lights integrated into there but as you can see things like the handbrake the um, the car's fuel setting which is an eco mode right now it can be shown right there you've got your revs you've also got a shift indicator uh, so I'll be coming back to all of those as I said in the spec review uh, and the drive um, but there are a lot of little interesting quirks that the Sandero has like <laughs> French car stuff I, I know this is based on a Dacia but this is very French I think to have your hooter over here but not here if i press this like this nothing happens i think that's such a french car uh, attribute doing things differently but there are uh, two airbags so one for the passenger and one for the um the driver um, the speaker system is decent enough i would say uh, the tuning is good and you've got a really nice head unit with automatic uh, bluetooth connectivity as well as the standard typical renault if i can get here your, these are your media controls near the steering wheel, which is also really nice to have, something you don't get in either the Figo or the Vivo. Um, not obviously sure about upgraded models like such as the Fiesta and the uh, General Polo, but for this kind of price, you don't generally see stuff like that. So obviously, you can see all your um, HVAC controls are all physical. It's a nice thing to have. And you've got physical uh, controls either side here for your electric windows, which comes standard even in the base spec, which I think is a great value. 
Okay guys, now welcome to the spec review uh, of this 2014 Sandero. Um, I'm going to obviously list a couple of the specs that you might want to know about this car and then uh, then we'll go for a little drive around the suburbs and uh, talk a little bit about what you might need to know there. Okay, so starting off, this is, as I said, it's a 2014 Renault Sandero uh, Expression. Um, the average mileage on a car like this, which is actually fantastic, it's got a great engine, uh, which I'll talk about now, is 5.2 liters per 100 k's average, which is uh, quite substantially better than you're going to get in a lot of cars. And the reason for that is it's got a uh, 0.9 inline three turbo. Uh, it's a very, very clever engine. And uh, as, as I said earlier in the interior review, it's got an economical mode that you can put it in i think that just limits things uh that would use more fuel just like the ac and the pressure of the ac and uh stuff like that anything that uses fuel i think just gets cut down a little bit not the engine necessarily so anyway we're also running through a five-speed manual it's uh, very typical in a class like this you very rarely get a six-speed manual especially not at this price point the top speed is 169 k's an hour rated and a 0 to 100 time of 11.1 seconds which is uh, marginally better um then cars like my Ford Figo and the Polo Vivo. Uh, I think just the turbo torque coming in low. I think the uh, the maximum power in this is 66 kilowatts, which is uh, 90 horsepower. And that happens at 50 to 50 RPM. So you're not exactly uh, winding it out too much, but that's not what you expect when you're driving something like this. Uh, the maximum torque is 135 Newton meters at 2500 RPM. So the torque's coming in nice and low, which allows you to drive the car in a very relaxed manner, which is great. The ground clearance, 164 millimeters plenty enough to get over most speed bumps and curbs if you need to park on the curbs like i do as a student uh, which is obviously fantastic the boot space is 292 liters if i compare that to something like my car which is 359 liters it's quite substantially bigger in my car but um you the loading bay and the area is perfectly fine i think for most people and the fuel tank capacity is 50 liters which is also obviously five liters bigger than the vivo and uh the figo so anyway let's get onto the drive portion okay so here we go in the Renault Sandero um, expression 2014 uh, going for a little drive around the suburbs so one thing I want to start with is uh, what I normally start with is the drivetrain uh, the drivetrain on this car is fantastic I've driven this car once before actually a facelift model uh, but it has essentially the same engine and transmission very easy to get along with uh, dude, the engine is actually a lot of fun because it's turbocharged you feel that boost pressure come in like that and you just get that wave of torque which is actually a lot of fun especially if you're younger and you're just looking for something a little bit different which it offers um which it offers you at a really awesome price especially these things second hand i think my mate got his uh all the way back in 2018 for i think 60,000 rand and it had about 40,000 k's on the clock so they're just an awesome value um if uh, if that's what you're looking for one thing i will say about renos in general um i know they're getting a lot more popular these days because they're releasing some amazing cars uh, to say the least not least of which of course is this which has been very popular is uh, your parts supply is going to be quite substantially less than something like the Fords and the Volkswagens and the Toyotas and that is where you're actually going to be paying a little bit more uh, on average because obviously demand and supply dictates that um, so yeah let me just do a little pull here yeah not to use too much but I'm already up to 70 there um, on, a, on a main road so it's it can really really move when you need it to and it makes a little cool little rumble as well I like that in my three cylinder rumble um, so yeah I mean just talking more about the drive now the suspension is um, very simple but very easy to get along with uh, it stays relatively flat in the corners you know modern suspension technology has come a long way um, I do believe that uh, this is running on McPherson struts front and rear so you're not going to get sports car performance the steering is uh, I believe it's still a hydraulic unit, although I could be wrong. It almost feels a little bit electric in its thing, but there's a lot of feel coming through it. That's why I'd say it's probably a hydraulic unit. And uh, one thing I love about the steering wheels, it's just a steering wheel, right? I mean, I'd love the Hootsa to be where it should be, but anyway, you are in a Renault and uh, there is definitely some Renault influence in this car. And uh, one of those things is the typical 
a dial that you've got here that you can control both your music, you can control your um, your volume with that, and uh, yeah, it just makes things a lot easier. You know, I can't do that in my car, and it's uh, just lecker features, smart, smart thinking features that you you don't really don't get in uh, in cars like that. So anyway, let's move on while we're uh, stationary to some of the other driving features, which is really nice. It's got a um, hill start assist. I'm not on a hill right now. I'm actually stuck in a robot. But if I needed to, I could release the handbrake and it would hold me for about three seconds uh, in first gear. And I could just take off, which is, I think, really smart, right? Um, you would want uh, you would want your car to hold you just to make sure you're not rolling back. I mean, it would actually be kind of like a cheat if you were doing your driver's test. Uh, shout out to all those who did the K uh, K53 in South Africa. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's just really smart things, and this is what I love about this car. If you, if I'm comparing it to my own car, I would say that uh, one thing my car would have over it is the sound i rave about the sound in the ford figo i don't know who was in engineering uh this in the sound department that day but they put a lot of work into it so this car's stereo is not quite as good but it's plenty fine definitely better than the vivos of this generation i would say um so yeah that's uh, it's pretty much got everything the ac blows nice and cold my mate needs to get his regas so that's not exactly um blowing as cold as it maybe should be today but that's absolutely no worries i'm having a lot of fun driving this um i I think that the practicality is there i think that the performance is there i think the, the fun element for young people who want to drive this is there and uh and the fuel economy in in, in south africa's environment today you're gonna want fuel economy and this car just sips fuel and if you really wanted to sip even more fuel by just you know reducing your amenities you just clap the eco button down here goes into eco mode everything gets kind of pulled back a little bit and uh and then and then you can just chill out i mean it's not like as i said the the performance is greatly reduced at all um, it just kind of you know it reduces all the things it needs to, needs to reduce um, in terms of visibility the visibility is really good uh, it's not quite as good as my car but plenty good for any uh, reasonable person <laughs> I would say I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, with trying to place the car okay so how are the brakes well the brakes are okay uh, they uh, are a little bit vague to say the least but you know what if you've been driving a car for more than a year you'll get on with them just fine um, I don't think that uh, I don't think it's really something to write home about or something to go wow those are really great gravity brakes they just they work so that's that's all right the clutch field is fine um, it's easy very very light um, it feels maybe a little bit dainty at times in comparison to uh, something just with a bit more heft but uh, you know what it does the job absolutely fine and uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say about this car everything that needs to work works all things that need to be there are there and it's got really clever little additions that you would never get uh, with other cars at this price so that's I think where I want to uh, conclude is should you get um, a car like this if you're looking to get you know 2014 lower end hatchback uh, just for puttering around or doing whatever I mean this car's been to the Cedarburg so if you need a car like that and you're comfortable with paying uh, a little bit more for repairs and services um, then I really don't think you're gonna find much better the only thing is is uh, everybody wants to question Renault reliability I think these days it's a lot better but you are also running a turbocharged engine that adds complexity and that adds uh, service cost so if you're looking for a more simplistic robust uh, experience more proven uh, you're probably gonna want to go Toyota Ford Volkswagen the, the safe bets but you're also gonna be paying more money and getting less features so that's what you're getting you're getting uh, a higher value prospect and uh, ultimately having a little bit more fun I reckon as well so anyway guys please uh, like comment subscribe if you like what I did here and uh, maybe give me some feedback I really do appreciate it and uh, I'll be coming out with my walk around video of the Land Rover soon so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time cheers